Good afternoon, my YouTube brethren. Today we've got a pretty cool little experiment. So this old yellow boat, uh, I call it the boat from hell because it's a, it's a nightmare. So what happened was the the gel coat was faded, and the people who owned it before me. Now this is the this is the official story that I was given. Uh, they kind of tied one on one night and decided they wanted to beautify their boat, and they used regular house latex paint and painted the whole thing yellow and white and so the gel coat was gone but underneath was the flake and then the red color and so they tried to cover all that with latex paint so as you can imagine that didn't hold up very well and it looks terrible now so we have a job to get all that off before we start to mess with the actual gel coat on the boat uh, well the lack of gel coat on the boat and we're going to sand all that through get all the metal flake out of there and eventually we're going to respray the whole thing so it's a big job, uh, but the first step is deciding how we want to remove of this paint. Now, I've tried just a power washer on some areas, and um, I think it would work, but it would take some time and probably most of an afternoon to get all of it off. And instead of that, uh, I think I'm just going to use a paint stripper. Now, I've got three that I'm going to try today. You've got regular, regular paint stripper. I've got the citrus paint stripper, which is supposed to be more safe, and then I've got the citrus spray, which I think is about the same thing, but I want to see how it, how it, I want to see how it holds up versus the regular stuff. Uh, but anyway, so if you have a boat for some reason and you're trying to get something off with paint stripper, if you have gel coat left on the boat, if your boat's not that old, if it hasn't been faded, if the gel coat hasn't kind of been eaten away, and it's still there and you need to get something off and you're using paint stripper, do not use regular premium paint stripper. So it has the, the methyl and uh, I believe they call that, let me see, what they, they call that NMP uh, or, or methylene is what they call that. So if it has methylene in it or this EMP, don't put it on your boat with gel coat because it will eat through that. Now this citrus stuff is not supposed to eat through it at all. So if you had a boat, it's got gel coat on it, there's something on there you want to remove, you can use this uh, from what I've understood, but you cannot use the real, the real stuff because it will flat eat through uh, the gel coat. So you don't want to damage the stuff that's under whatever it is you're trying to get off. So anyway, I don't have to worry about that on this boat because there's nothing left under there and we're going to uh, sand it down to, to bare fiberglass anyway. So I'm not too concerned. What I want to see is which one works the best. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going, I've got three areas taped off and I'm going to, I'm just going to paint them on and the last one I'll spray on because it's in that spray can and they say to, to wait between 15 and 30 minutes. So I'm going to give them 30 minutes, come back, and then I'll. what I'm going to do to make it even, instead of like power washing it off or something, I'm just going to take a scraper and I'm just going to see how much will slough off and then when I pour some water on it and we'll see what it looks like after 30 minutes. So I have a pretty good idea this old latex paint is going to come off of here really easy, but who knows. So let's get them applied and uh, we'll wait 30 minutes and then we'll see what happens. All right, I actually lied to you. This premium stripper here is from Clean Strip, and it does not have uh, the methylene chloride in it. So it's really not, it's really a better apples to apples comparison, but I'd really like to try the real stuff with this other in it to see if it works better. Let's see how these three work, and we'll go from there. I've got a glass mug here. Uh, hopefully this thing won't eat through any plastic that you have or anything like that, but if you got something ceramic or glass, it works the best. So I've got two separate paint brushes here, and then the last one we'll spray on. Um, I should be using gloves. Should be. I don't have any here at the property, so I'm just going to be very careful. Uh, but if you do this, use gloves, be safe, blah, 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 glasses, the whole thing. Let's get these things painted on, and then we'll see what happens. All right. I got my cup washed out put the citrus strip in there it's quite a bit thicker um, so if we use it on the boat we'd have to probably thin it down and I'll have to look up what to thin it with but ideally you'd be able to spray all this on and it'd go a lot faster It's kind of cool. You can already see you can already see the uh, the clean strip here working on this on this white part down here. Not on the yellow yet. Um, but that's interesting. So it's already it's already doing its stuff. Let's see what let's see what the spray can says to do. It says to shake for two minutes vigorously. Okay, so the citrus strip uh, in the can it says to 
bringing up the room temperature it was in the house all day yesterday so it's fine temperature wise and then to shake for two minutes so I'll shake the bejesus out of it and then we'll spray it wait 30 minutes we'll see what happens All right, definitely use gloves, especially with the aerosol. So it got all over my hands and up in my face even a little bit. And the wind's not even blowing that hard today. So if you use the aerosol, just be sure that you mask up, get some gloves, uh, it will, it'll help. And none of this smells good at all. So you don't want this on you. you don't want to bring it into your home or anything like that. It's, it's, it's pretty potent stuff. So let's let these set for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll see, we'll see which one works the best. And then uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about price because they're, they're about the same but the aerosol would be, of course, more expensive. So anyway, let's, let's see what happens in about 30 minutes. Okay, well, it's been about 30 minutes, and I was hoping I would come back and it would be just all sloughed off and they would work so well that it wouldn't take any time or scraping at all. So uh, again, left to right, we've got the, the clean, clean strip stripper, citrus clean or citrus strip, and then also the aerosol version. Now they're all working. They're all doing some damage to the paint. Um, let's, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly scrape an area and I'm going to rinse it and we'll see what it looks like after that process and then we'll kind of make a decision going from there. Now on to the citrus. Citrus aerosol. All right, here's some quick results. The Clean Strip Premium Stripper did probably the best, I would say. Um, it got all the way down to the original, uh, the, well, the red underneath. And then the white part down here, um, it's stripped completely. So it's all sloughed off there. So that part did really good. The yellow has been, uh, it's kind of a booger. It doesn't come off very well at all. So I don't know if there's multiple coats of the yellow or what, but uh, it's been tough. So the Citra Clean did pretty good also. Uh, you can see a lot more red coming through on that bottom part. And then up here is pretty good. I think with the better, um, oh, a better, scraper i could do pretty good unfortunately what i got see a, a really thin um, kind of flimsy scraper so it was good that it was all the same but not what i would use to actually strip this thing off and then the aerosol kind of like i assumed uh, did the worst and so i won't be buying it. it's actually the most expensive and so we'll talk about that here in just a second so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the that stuff right there and i'm going to thin it down and spray the whole boat with it or I'm going to use what I can of this and just paint it on like I did. And it has the option of leaving for 24 hours. So I might paint all of it with that and then come back after a full day and just spray the heck out of it with power washer and, uh, and see what happens. All right, so that leaves us with a couple of options here. So option number one is to just power wash the heck out of it, take your time, and it will take some time to go, you know, each and every spot to make sure you get all that stuff kind of sloughed off. And even then, I don't know 100% if it would get it all. Second option is the paint stripper, to thin it down, to spray it on there, to leave it overnight, maybe brush it on thick, leave it overnight, then come back, power wash it again. And I guess the other option is, is maybe to do in addition to, which is just get a really aggressive grit sandpaper on my orbital or my uh, or my belt sander and just go to town on it and try to get that stuff off and I I don't really know I don't really know which one is best so I think what I'll do you guys tell me what you think in the comments I think I'm gonna use one or both types of paint stripper I'll leave it on overnight I'll come back the next day and just power wash and see how much comes off and then I'll go ahead and sand what I couldn't get off with the paint stripper 
So that's my thought. Um, I also would like to try a real paint stripper that has the methylene in it uh, that these don't. And I wonder if it would work better for this particular application. So I didn't expect this paint to be difficult for the paint strippers to eat through at all. I figured it was going to be pretty, I figured it was going to be pretty easy for them, but uh, they all kind of struggled. And I think with, with a better scraper, I think they'd come off all right, but it's still going to be a lot of work. So let me know what you think in the comments, which one you would, you would do if it was your boat. And then uh, hopefully within the next couple days, we can get, uh, we can get this thing we we'll go ahead and get it stripped off and uh, go to the next step. All right, thanks guys for watching. Take care. God bless you and your family. Have a wonderful, safe afternoon. We'll catch you on the next video.